Hey, what's going on, buddy? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are playing some more Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Last episode, we found a body of someone who we believe is Kyoko. Uh, we learned about a different, a new student. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and start our investigation. So let's go. Not investigation, uh, class trial, I mean. Hmm. Well, Biak and Makoto showed up together. Oh. Where the heck have you two been? Just spinning without a word. Hmm. We're investigating, of course. How could you not figure that out by at this point? Yeah. Code is ranked high enough for you to go off together. Just the two of you? Huh? Are you jealous? Hey. You're making up some kind of creepy fantasy for yourself. What? Stop talking. Embrace yourself. You'll be here any minute. Any second. Oh, uh, any second. Show up at any time. I mean, imagine what was about to happen. I immediately tend stuff and perk up myself. But we stood there for a full five minutes, waiting for something weird to happen. Five minutes became ten. Why? What's going on here? Why hasn't Monokuma showed up yet? Could it be? We died again. Hmm. Should we do? Should we keep waiting here or, <laughs> or what? what? Jesus! <laughs> Did I scare you? Come on! I demand an explanation. Why? Why did you waste my time with you wait like that? Hmm? I made you wait. You it all backwards. You're the one to making me wait, huh? In other words, I'm waiting for everyone to arrive. We can't start till everyone's here, can we? Hmm? We're talking about everyone is here. I've been waiting for you. Sorry, I put you around. Yeah. We've been waiting for ten minutes now. So it's okay if you push. If you, I want to punish the one making us all wait, right? If we all agree it's a violation, I'll arrange the punishment right now. It's me you're waiting for. I'm here. We heard a voice that's one on the Hey. Oh, Kyoko's alive. Okay. I'm here. There's no rules being broken. Kyoko. Uh. Kyoko, you're still alive. Uh. No, this is just a ghost. Uh. Stop talking. Hmm. If you want to fight, do it at class trial. You need some tape. He say some time for later, right? What? It's okay, there's no particular penalty for being late. Is that right? I'm here just fine. What school relation do I violate? I'm gonna run to the bathroom, because I just kinda really need to go. Be right. I accidentally stopped recording. God damn it. I'm gonna here just fine. What school relation do I violate? Am I wrong? Yeah. You're so selfish, so spoiled. You're right, there's no penalty officially, but I bet you'll be sorry later. Ding. So I'll make sure you guys are yeah. sorry later. Anyway, as your butts into the elevator, I'll be mean, just one step ahead of you. When my pool is gone, we all rushed up to Kyoko. Kyoko! Ah. So you really didn't die. Indeed. Of course you didn't die. <laughs> Thank God, I'm so glad you're okay. Hmm. Perhaps, but it's not necessarily a good thing for us. Ah. That's right, let me deal with a ghost. Mm. I told you to stop talking. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Whatever we need to discuss, we can do it during the trial. Whatever looking directly at Kyoko, Bianca stepped in the elevator. <laughs> Master, wait for me! Uh, um... Good call, who knows what might happen just if we take too long. But... I'll be happy when this trial is over. One after another, everyone piled into the elevator, but I couldn't help myself. I had to talk to Kyoko before the trial started. Listen, before we get started, I have to ask you. Where have you been this whole time? You used a key here to go somewhere, didn't you? So... Correct. I went to investigate the second floor of the dorms. The second floor. That's right. There aren't any monitors or cameras there, so I was able to avoid what come completely. Of course, I also missed on his announcement because of that. Whew. I had no idea the body had been discovered. Then when did you find out? So... Just now. Here's my search came back down and just heard to hear the... Just uh, in time to hear the class trial announcement. I took some time to go with the class crime scene first, and I couldn't... Couldn't have uh, with that guy. So that's why you're here later. However... I'm sorry to keep you all waiting. If you're waiting on the second floor of the dorms... And that's what the key found goes Wrong. to. Actually, that's not quite. In other words... I just know come a secret tool, which can open any lock in school. What? Kyoko's account. Just a second! Wait, we're gonna get to doing hurry up before we get in trouble with Monokuma. Makoto. We can go over this detail when we, go, when we get through the trial. Okay, Monokuma. Hey, Makoto. For now, I just want to focus on this this current situation. It would seem... This is probably the single most crucial moment so far for us. For her. Strange way to put it. Oh, did she say for her? The class trial is important. Goodbye. Well, that's it. See, I'm concerned we kept made a way to the elevator. And I'm just overthinking what she said, right? Time? So, I shot. Being the last one on the left, I slipped on the elevator. The door slid shut. Time to this time, the clunking was loud enough to hurt my ears, and the dread began consuming me once again. I can't imagine ever getting used to the metal pressure. That comes with preparing execution. In the dusty darkness, do I said a word? We just stood there, silent and still. During a magical period of time, the door opened without warning. 
dazzling lights penetrated every depth of my eyes. It wasn't the illuminating light of hope. It was the blinding light of despair. Oh, would you look at this wait. fucking room? I can't wait! I feel like forever since we've been to free. Oh. Seems like it's been forever since we got together like this. Time for pointless jokes and jazz. Thrills, Let's chill. get the show on. And so this created open fifth time. A deadly judgment, a deadly deception, a deadly betrayal, a deadly riddle, a deadly defense, a deadly faith, a deadly class trial. Finish preparations. Let's go. Trial. All right. Let's begin with a basic explanation of the class trial. We know, we so know. If you can, then I'll punish. Okay, what? Well then, let's discuss the specifics of the victim. First, we need to clarify who exactly the unidentified victim is. It's Kyoko. There's no other explanation. But Kyoko's standing right there. No, that's a ghost. But she has legs and stuff. Well, that's just because she's like the latest evolution in ghost technology shut up hero there's a limit to how much ridiculousness i can tolerate um okay so i just have to prove that the corpse isn't kyoko right then let's compare kyoko's traits to the traits of the dead body her trait no more to take the body oh uh, kyoko's i got it <laughs> i'm talking about her gloves they'll give us some insight into the mystery I'm sure of it. In that case, I think it would be helpful if someone explained why she actually wears those gloves. And would you happen to know the answer? In fact, Monokuma told me. Apparently, you have scars on your hands you don't want anyone to see. Oh, you know, now that I think about it, the corpse wasn't wearing any gloves, right? They probably just got burnt up in the explosion. No, it was wearing it before him. I'm not convinced. The ghost is just trying to fool us all. So I don't really trust you. Okay. Make your arguments. Oh no. But uh fake nails probably. That Kyoko there is just a ghost. Impossible. Okay, then prove it. Prove she's not a ghost. The dead body wasn't wearing gloves. It's they true. got burnt up in the explosion. Then she was wearing gloves before the explosion? Well, yeah, she must have been wearing gloves. Because that corpse is at this entire discussion is idiotic. Right, uh, so, depending on which one it is, though, it's that either. Kyoko, there is just a ghost. It's probably fake nails. Impossible. Okay, then prove it. The dead body wasn't. They got burnt up. Then she was wearing. Well, yeah, she must have been wearing gloves. Yeah, fake nails. No, that's wrong. <laughs> no. There's no way the corpse was wearing gloves. Whoever it was, they were wearing fake nails, remember? I imagine trying to wear gloves over nails like that would have been a pretty big pain. Besides, Kyoko wears gloves to hide her hands, right? It'd be pretty weird for someone who's self-conscious about their hands to wear fake nails, don't you think? Jeez, man, you don't know women, huh? They're complicated like that. If anyone doesn't know women, it's you. <laughs> Well, Kyoko, any thoughts? These gloves were custom made to the size of my hands to make sure they don't interfere with my daily life. If I wore fake nails, the gloves wouldn't fit properly. Then that's that. The dead body doesn't belong to Kyoko. Which should have been obvious since she's standing right here. Yeah, really explain it for fucking shit, okay, Brandon. so then, who's the real victim? First, we need to figure that out. That's the first thing I said. You're the one who's been dragging us around in circles. Anything we need if I make your arguments. What do you have? A sprinkler, explode a body. If Kyoko really is still alive, then who died? There's gotta be some way to figure it out. I don't think so. The face was scorched beyond That's recognition, true. and there wasn't any description in the Monokuma file. Well, if we can't identify the body... We can identify the body, because it's a tattoo! It's a tattoo! It's a tattoo! There was one the clue left behind that we can use to identify the body. What? 
For real? The Tatao. If you're lying, you'll die a cruel and unusual death. Shut up, bitch. A cruel and unusual death? This I gotta see. You're getting weird. She's just being stupid. Ignore them, Makoto. Tell us what you're talking about. The key to figuring out who it was is the tattoo on the back of her hand. Oh, yeah. The design's pretty strange, huh? Is this a dog? A her wolf. master must have made her get it. To be like, you're my bitch. Toko, quit it. They really did something that humiliating? She don't stop no, believing him. That's not it. The identity Fuck, of the victim I am is surrounded by idiots. That tattoo. Oh, really? Yes, really. So, wait, wait. So, tattoo in the other machine from clear. Oh. Never mind. Okay. I got it. There you go. Okay, I'm just stupid. The Fenrir Don't Mercenary Corps. That's the name of the military group Mukuro Ikusaba belonged to. Okay, so to show that they're a member of the team, each soldier that joins the squad would get a tattoo representing Fenrir somewhere on their Fenrir. body. Fenrir? Who's the Fenrir is a wolf. Wait, what? Now I understand. It was a wolf. A wolf. The representation of Fenrir is a wolf. Fenrir, the wolf of Ragnarok. It's from Norse mythology. A huge world ending wolf beast. He's the child of the trickster god Loki and a female giant. Man, after all this time, we finally got a glimpse of the literary all star. A wolf tattoo. And that means... Exactly. The body we found had a tattoo of a wolf. Which means that person must have once belonged to Fenrir. So it must have been Mukuro. What? Uh, uh, hold on. Isn't she the one that was behind this whole thing? <laughs> you sound surprised. But you're absolutely right. Yes, indeed. The trial this time is to solve the murder of Mukuro Ikusaba. Huh? What? Are you saying the mastermind is dead? And now we have to have a cool last trial? No. It means we were wrong in thinking that Mukuro was the mastermind at all. But I mean, being the ultimate despair seems like a pretty mastermindy title to me. Maybe we shouldn't have been thinking of her as the ultimate despair in the first place. After all, looking at her profile, I didn't see anything that would fit such a description. All it said was that she was the ultimate soldier. If I remember correctly, that other information came from Kyoko. That's what you told Makoto, right? So that means Kyoko got it wrong? And who was she? Who was Mukuro Ikusaba? She's been gone this whole time? And when she finally turns up, she gets killed. Usually when there's a scene where an important character dies, it has a lot more detail. So you're saying she wasn't an important character? Which would mean she was the same as us. Just another participant. Then who's the real mastermind? It must have been the Hope's Peak Academy headmaster after all. No, the headmaster has nothing to do with it. But how can we trust that? We already know your information about Mukuro was wrong. My information was not wrong. Okay, okay! We're in the middle of a trial right now! Figuring out who killed Mukuro is first and foremost! All Please right. limit all future prattle, chatter, and chit-chat as much as possible! Fine. Uncovering the identity of the Mastermind will have to wait. But remember this. No matter what happens, we will find out who you really are. I stake my family name on it. I have officially decided to completely ignore all such attempts at provocation. Now then, just so nobody's confused, 
Let me state this one more time for the record. The reason we're having a class trial is because a murder among the students has taken place. Hammer that point straight into your big old brains! What you're saying is that both the victim and the culprit are part of the student body? Then... one of us killed Muguro? Wait, no! There's a chance that there's some mystery 17th person who's been hiding all along! Nope! There are only 16 students in total that have been taking part in these events! Seriously? Then... one of us killed Mukuro? Who... did it? Who's the killer this time? Get a hold of yourself. We've already narrowed down the list of possible suspects. Huh? I'm sure you realize who I'm talking about, right, Makoto? Who the evidence points to? Kyoko and Mikoto. I got it! You've narrowed it down to... Kyoko and me, right? Why do you say that? Allow me to explain. Just after nighttime last night, I went to the garden. So I can confirm that at that point, there was no dead body there. So, the murder must have taken place after I left the garden. However, Hiro, Toko, Hina, and I were in the gym the entire time. The gym? That's right. The four of us were there trying to dismantle Monokuma. The whole time, we were very careful not to go anywhere alone. We even went to the bathroom in pairs. All of which is to say, the four of us all have alibis. The only ones without alibis... ...are me and Makoto. That's why you're able to narrow down the list of suspects. Exactly so. The only suspects now is me and uh, Kyoko. Damn it, I can't let this dance on my friend. Um, I have something I'd like to say regarding the whole alibi thing. Are you thinking of raising an objection? Well, before that, I just want to try and get a better idea of what time the murder took place. Doing that might reveal some kind of clue. Whatever you want, somebody go ahead and help him out. Me and Byakuya can both confirm that the body wasn't in the garden at... Well, it was after nighttime for sure. I'd say it must have been around 10 o'clock. So the murder must have happened after 10 p.m. Then I guess we can say the time frame for the murder was between then and when we found the body? Oh, but what time did we find the body? The one who saw the body first was Toko, right? And she went to go get the pickaxe. Correct. Oh shit, it was a, uh, it was a, uh, it was a, uh, kind of a... I got it! The body must have been discovered at 9 a.m. Since that's me. when Toko went to get the pickaxe. Correct. God then, Toko, what time is it? Well, when you left gym, it was just about 9 o'clock. It's probably 9 o'clock on the dot now. Okay, get the pickaxe. I'll be back here by 9.01. He's right. It had to be around then. So we can be totally sure the murder happened sometime between 10 at night and 9 in the morning. For me, I was already asleep before nighttime hit. So I don't have an alibi after 10 o'clock. But I'm sure I met up with everyone else before 9 this morning. We ran into each other in the dining hall, right? Oh yeah, right around 7.30. I remember checking right before I went in, so I'm totally sure about it. Which means from 10 p.m. to 7.30 a.m., you don't have an alibi. Now we can uh, Listen, again, it's begun. If I can't find an alibi for that period, then I should prove the murder didn't happen during the time. I don't know, but I think I can make it clear that I ended up in the garden. Okay. This is gonna be, this is gonna be, this is gonna be fun. Oh, God. Uh, okay. Actually, we've established a time frame for the murder. It took place somewhere between 10 o'clock at night and 9 o'clock in the morning. 2 o'clock. Yep, and Makoto doesn't have an alibi for most of that time. Yeah, from 10 o'clock to 7.30. That's more than enough time to commit murder, I should think. So Makoto, if you have any objections, now would be the time. So I think it might be the 7.30 second. We've established a time. It took place somewhere between 10 o'clock and 9 o'clock in the morning. Yep. And Makoto... Yeah, from to 7.30.
Okay, nope. Okay. Come in here, that's how we got on some food. Shoot! Must be contradiction. We've established a time frame. It took place somewhere between 10 o'clock at night and 9 o'clock in the morning. Yep, and Makoto doesn't have an alibi for most of that time. Yeah, from 10 o'clock to 7.30. But, okay, I'm just, uh, fuck me, this one's gonna be fun. We've established a time frame for the murder. It took place somewhere between 10 o'clock at night and 9 o'clock in the morning. Yep, and the code of Yeah, from to 7.30. Okay, I don't know what this is. Uh, shoot. I'm just gonna have to, I'm just gonna have to fucking... We've established a time frame for the murder. It took place somewhere between 10 o'clock. What? No, that's well, not. What I what used? Are you sprinklers? Actually, the murder couldn't have happened anywhere near 10 o'clock. It had to have taken place way later. And what makes you say that? Because of the sprinklers in the no, garden. No, the tarp, though. Someone could have covered it up. The sprinklers are set to go off right at 7.30 every morning. Right? So if the body had been in the garden before 7.30... Then it should have been completely soaked. Oh, hold on. I remember this part perfectly. The body was wet. Dripping wet, in fact. Sorry, Toko, but you're wrong. I'm wrong? Uh, how? Are you saying only the mouth down south was wet? How dare you spew such oh indecent my words? To Toko. No, I'm saying that the body was wet but not because of the sprinklers. What do you mean by denying the sprinkler? Are you trying to deny my entire existence? Man, you're both you're wrong. totally I think wacko. Still dead because of the fucking tarp. You really think it wasn't the sprinkler? You'd better tell us why! Just do it. Okay, is this what I think it is? Yep, it's green. Okay, I'm gonna try. Admit nothing. I hate you. No, no, no! I don't know anything. Hold on. Are you trying to blame me? I admit nothing. I hate you. No, no, no! I don't know anything. Hold on. Are you trying to blame me? Fuck off, Toko. I admit Jeez, nothing. Uh, shit, Are you bitch. trying fuck, to blame fuck, me? Fuck, 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 fuck. I admit nothing. I hate you. No, no, no! I don't know anything! Oh, sorry. How can you say it wasn't the- This should prove it! Fuck you, bitch! Just remember what the body was like after the explosion, and you'll see why it wasn't the sprinkler. The top half of the body was wet, yes but the bottom half was completely dry. If the sprinklers got the body wet, shouldn't the whole body have been wet? So they only got the top wet? The bottom was completely dry? What a brutal maniac! I'm so sick of her. Oh Let's my. just... The reason only the top half was wet was because... We splashed water on it. While the body was still on fire, I doused it with water, but only the part on fire, the... Oh, then I guess the sprinklers really didn't do it. So if the sprinklers didn't get the, the body tarp. wet, then oh, the no. murder must have taken place sometime after the sprinklers turned on at 7.30 in the morning. Which means she must have been killed sometime between then and when the body was discovered at 9. But Makoto's alibi was only missing from 10 o'clock last night to 7.30 this morning, right? So there's no way Makoto could have done it. I guess you had an alibi after all. Good. In which case, the only one left without an alibi is Kyoko. Give us an alibi, which means Makoto's not just believe it. I'd just like to say one thing. If you vote for me and I die here, the mystery of this school will stay hidden forever. Which is why I can't let that happen. Huh? So are you saying you're not the culprit? Of course I'm not. I have no reason to kill anyone. This is a trap the mastermind has laid for us. 
A trap? <laughs> We're this far into the game, and now you decide to blame me? Stop wasting time! Stop wasting energy! You really think your little trick is gonna work? Shut up, you! You got it, boss! Shutting up now! Anyway, Kyoko, you actually did have a reason to kill her. Huh? She did? She thought Mukuro was the ultimate despair. In other words, the mastermind behind everything. So she killed her to try and put a stop to all this. Isn't that right, Kyoko? But you made one catastrophic mistake. Mukuro wasn't the mastermind at all. And as a result, we were forced into another trial. Something I'm sure you weren't at all expecting. So that was her motive? If she had a motive and no alibi, well then... I think it's pretty clear Kyoko's got to be the culprit. I'm not the only one without an alibi. Makoto's explanation is still insufficient. Huh? The sprinklers didn't get the body wet, but that doesn't mean the murder happened when he said it did. What are you... Because you see, there is a way the body could have avoided getting wet. Interesting. I'm listening. All it would take is covering the body with a certain something to keep it from getting wet. See the fucking tart, you dolt. I got it! You're talking about the tart, aren't you? You catch on quick. You're right. All you'd have to do is cover the body with the tart, and that'd take care of the water. In fact, that's exactly what the killer did. The dirt pattern on the tarp can attest to that. Only one side of the tarp got dirty, because that's the side that got covered in water. The side that faced down over the body, meanwhile, kept perfectly clean. This proves that the killer used the tarp to keep the body from getting soaked. But why would they go to all that effort just to keep the body from getting wet? Most likely so they could cloud the issue of when the murder actually took place. In other words, to create an excuse exactly like the one Makoto just gave us. Uh, uh, why would the killer say that? Why would we do look at the killer? I can't think about that right now. Tarp. Skip to jump a skip and touch my body, right? Body. Wait. Something's not right. And what might that be? Can't worry about Kyoko's motives. I don't think something. Skip to killer. Alright. Body cord as well. By covering the body with the tarp. The killer prevented it from getting wet. So the reason the tarp was only dirty on one side is because the sprinkler got that side wet. But the underside of the tarp, it was totally spotless, right? It's because that side was protected from the water. Since it was yes, facing right. down toward the bottom, of course it didn't get dirty. Fuck me. I shot that bullet. By right, covering skipping. the body, the killer prevents. So the reason that is because the spring, yeah, but the underside, it was totally. It's because that side, since it was facing down, to, of course it didn't get dirty. No, that's wrong. Actually, one side being clean is pretty strange if you think about it. Because the blood wasn't dry before the body got blown up, right? Yakuya said it himself. Not to touch it, or you might get some on you. If you put a tarp on a body in that state, it absolutely would have gotten blood on it. Well, maybe the culprit washed it, so nobody would know they'd used it. If they had, they would have washed both sides. Just washing the one side wouldn't hide anything. Oh, yeah, true. More than that, what if the very blood we saw on the body was meant as a kind of camouflage? Huh? What if... After the killer used the tarp to avoid the sprinklers, they then covered the body in blood that didn't belong to the victim. You mean someone else's blood? Where would they get something like that? I know! They could have grabbed some of the blood packs from the nurse's office. That's what Hifumi did, right? When he pretended to be dead? No, that's not what happened this time. The killer got the blood from right there in the garden. Which means... Oh, the chickens. I got it! Could it have been chicken blood? What? Chicken blood? 
Okay, that makes sense. When I checked the chicken coop before the murder, there were five chickens. But after the murder, there were only four. So you're saying, man, that's messed up. Killing a living thing just to do something like that is awful. They should have at least eaten it. I wonder if the killer had to get the blood from the scene so they wouldn't be spotted walking around. Anyway, there's no denying that a chicken went missing, which provides a basis for my theory. Perhaps, but even so, there's one thing that still doesn't make sense. You said the culprit used the tarp to avoid the water and then covered the body in blood, right? But if that's the case, then the blood should have soaked into the ground around the body. But that's not what we saw. Only the victim's clothing had blood on it. The ground was completely clean. I have to agree. That certainly is strange. Maybe they didn't apply the blood at the scene. Maybe they covered the coat in blood beforehand. They covered it beforehand? When you discovered the body, was it wearing the coat like you normally would? Um, I think so. Wait, no. The head was through the neck hole, but the arms weren't in the sleeves. Then that settles it. Sorry, I'm having a tough time keeping up. What settles what? Here's what happened. The murder took place before the sprinklers went off, but the body didn't get wet because the killer covered it with the tarp. Then, later, at the same time the killer was gathering up the tarp, they pulled the coat over the body, the coat they'd already covered in blood. This series of cover-ups was meant to disguise the actual time the murder occurred. They wanted us to think the murder happened sometime after the sprinklers had gone off, at 7.30. If that's actually what took place, it certainly becomes possible that the murder happened earlier. But to pull all that off, wouldn't they have had to go back to the garden after the sprinklers turned off? That actually wouldn't have been all that difficult. Huh? They already had the coat ready, so they just had to grab the tarp and pull the coat over the body. They'd be done in no time. Maybe, but still. Hina, after you met up with Makoto in the dining hall, did you two stay together from that point on? Oh, no. I headed off to the gym, and... Then he had plenty of time to spare, wouldn't you say? <laughs> That's not... Don't bother saying it's not possible. <clears throat> I must admit, Kyoko's reasoning is sound. Makoto's alibi is inadequate. Well then, this much brought back to me again, but my... My skill and trying to trap me. I don't understand. Guy's dead body's been added to two things. Well then, it looks like we're back to square one. Makoto's alibi is no good, so once again, our suspects are him and Kyoko. For serious, man? Which one of them did it? Hey, <laughs> Turns out why don't we let luck decide? Let's flip a coin. 50-50 odds. Oh! See? Pretty good idea, right? No, not that. I just remembered something super serious. Well, don't just stand there. Out with it. You know that knife we found all black and burnt? The one we found stuck in the body before it exploded, right? According to the Monokuma file, the knife went all the way through, from front to There's back. There's no blood on the knife. So, what about it? I'm pretty sure I'd seen that knife oh, somewhere no, before. Oh, oh, That's oh, what I thought oh, when oh. I first saw uh, it. Yeah. I just... It's, uh, about that, uh, shit. I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm so dead. I don't want it anyways. So what to do? Why don't we hang what hands? Go down front of me. It's the knife we gave to Makoto? You don't seem surprised. You must have noticed earlier. Yeah. Then why did you hide that fact? It's not that I hid it. It's just I'm not sure what actually happened last night. I thought maybe I really did kill her. Suspicious! Very suspicious indeed! The knife we found stuck in the body came from Makoto! Now I'm totally convinced he did it! 12,000% well, convinced! Shut up! I'm saying everything up to touch. I'm going clear. Good that I didn't matter anyway. What's my arguments? Just got body. 
Stars body then. The knife we found lodged in the dead body. It's the same one we gave to Makoto. It That's really true. is, isn't it? I was afraid of that. If he did have that knife before, then that seals it. Makoto did it. Just because I had the knife once, that automatically makes me the killer? Well, getting stabbed is what killed her, right? So there's no question. You took that knife of yours and killed her with it. Shut up. What a horrible man you are, Makoto. Wait, no, wait, 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 wait. The knife we found lodged in the dead body. It's the same one we... It really is, isn't it? If he did have that, that seals it. Just because I had that automatic... Well, getting stabbed is what killed her. Right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Shoot. So it's one... I know it's... I know it's that part. I'm probably just the knife we yeah. found lodged in the dead body. It's the same. It really is, isn't it? If he did have that, that seals it. Just because I had the knife, that automatically. Well, getting stabbed is what. Okay. No, that's wrong. <laughs> Wait, hold on. The stab wound isn't what killed Mukuro. That should be clear from the description of the cover-up we just heard. Lies! We never talked about what killed her! No! Don't you remember? The killer covered the dead body with the tarp, and then put the bloody coat on it. In other words, the victim never wore that blood-stained coat until after they were dead. Okay, fine! So what? So, when we discovered the body, the knife had been thrust through the coat along with the body. Meaning, if she wasn't stabbed until the coat was put on, and she was already dead at that point, obviously the stab wound isn't what killed her. M maybe you stabbed her twice. Once to kill her, and once to cover it up. I got it! Yeah. The Monokuma file clearly states that there was only one stab wound. Oh yeah, it sure did. I totally forgot about that. Then the knife... ...was just another piece of camouflage set up by the true killer. They probably stabbed her to draw attention away from what actually killed her. Exploding the body afterward Bye, was tomorrow. probably meant to do the same thing. The explosion severely damaged the body, making it impossible to know what really killed her. It was all the killer's attempt to destroy all evidence of their crime. So they wanted us to notice the stab wound and then detonated the body afterward. They meant for us to latch onto the knife as the cause of death, then destroy any evidence proving otherwise. Oh, hey, I have a question. It kind of goes back to the beginning, but what's the deal with that explosion anyway? Why'd the body just blow up all of a sudden like If you bothered to put that lump of gray matter between your ears to use, you'd know the answer. Well, if you're so smart, just tell me. I'll tell you. I bet some unknown quantum particle caused an atomic level spontaneous- I might be dumb, but even I'm not dumb enough to believe that. Go ahead, Makoto. Tell her, or we won't make any headway on this. Oh, for fuck's sake, I'm full of idiots. This place is full of idiots. I got it! After the explosion, we found a tiny fragment of something on the ground near the body, right? That fragment reveals the cause of the explosion. Huh? That's only natural. Because, of course, we saw the same thing when we dismantled Monokuma. It's part of a bomb. Oh! Then the explosion was because of the Monokuma bomb. Anyway, the culprit's motive is becoming more and more obvious by the minute. They wanted the knife wound to look like the fatal injury so that we'd suspect Makoto. And the only one who would benefit from that is the only other possible suspect. You, Kyoko. Hold on a second, Byakuya. What's the problem? Well, I just feel like we need to think this through. We still don't know what actually killed the victim. That's true. It's definitely bugging me. What really killed her? Fine. I have no problem with that. Let us continue the debate. It won't change the facts of the case regardless. 
Then shall we continue the debate? The victim's fatal injury has yet to be determined, correct? The explosion didn't kill her for sure. I guess. Well, yeah. She was already totally dead when that happened. And it wasn't because of the knife, right? And then there's only one other thing. Oh, yeah. Um, according to the Monokuma file, that's gotta be it. There was evidence that showed she was hit on the back of her head. Oh, yeah, that's true. Wait, 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 hold the fuck on. Shoot! Wait, hold the fuck on. Everything you're saying is true. Then shall we continue the victim's fatal... The explosion didn't... Well, yeah. And it wasn't even then. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's gotta be it. There was... And more than that, the victim had suffered countless wounds across her entire body. Wait, okay, so it's... Shoot! Oh, God. Then shall we continue the debate? The victim's fatal injury has yet to be determined. The explosion didn't kill her for sure. Well, yeah. And it wasn't even then. There's only one up. Oh, yeah. Um, that's gotta be it. There was evidence that showed she was hit on the back of her head. Shoot. Oh, this one's, oh, this one's stupid. Then shall we continue the debate? The victim's fatal injury has... The explosion didn't kill her for sure. Well, yeah, yeah. she was already told she was Oh, yeah, uh, that's gotta be it. And more than that, the victim had suffered countless wounds across her entire. Then shall we continue? The victim's fatal injury has yet to. The explosion didn't kill her for sure. Yes. I don't know. I'm gonna lose this part. Shoot. If I get this shoot, then shall we continue? The victim's fatal. The explosion didn't kill. Well, yeah. And it wasn't because of the knife, right? Yeah. Give me voted out. Go ahead. Shoot. Oh yeah. Here we go. Failed. Yada yada yada. Please do not hear what I say. Game over. Yes. Yes, please. I refuse to give up yet. Can't give up now. Okay. Try this again. Uh, uh, <laughs> because of the knife, right? I didn't mean, do that. Fuck me. One oh yeah. Uh, that's gotta be it. And more than that, the victim had suffered countless I wounds across her entire. I sat here. Then shall we continue? The victim's times. fatal injury has yet to. The explosion <laughs> didn't kill her for sure. Well, yeah, she was already totally dead God when that damn, happened. Damn, the I guess. Well, yeah. And it wasn't even then. There's a. Oh yeah. Um, that's gotta be it. There was evidence that showed she was hit on the back of her head. Yeah. Okay. We know that. Shoot. <laughs> Then shall we continue the debate? Shall we continue the debate? <laughs> the victim's fatal injury has yet to then shall we continue the debate? The victim's fatal injury has yet Fuck sake. No, that's wrong. This one's stupid. Mukuro died because of the blow to the back of the head she suffered. Yeah. What about the wounds all over the rest of her body? The Monokuma file makes it clear that those weren't fresh wounds. Oh yeah, good point. If they were old, I guess they don't really matter. <sighs> okay, then we're safe in assuming the blow to the back of her head is what killed her. But then, what was the murder weapon? The Monokuma file says she was hit with a blunt object about as thick as a metal pipe. Oh, I bet it was the pickaxe! How is that even possible? If you hit someone with that, it'd cave their skull in completely. Well, maybe they held it the other way and hit her with the handle. No way! The balance would be all off. You wouldn't be able to swing it with any kind of power. I wouldn't mind testing it on you if you want. No, thanks. I bet you just hit me with the metal end and call it an accident. I'd love to scoop out that nasty brain of yours, throw it on the ground and, and spit on it. Oh, <laughs> I feel the same way. 
Looks like we're on the same page this time. Seriously? We want to figure out what killed her, right? It just so happens we already know. We already know? I knew we could count on you, Master. So what was it? Go ahead and tell them, Makoto. Uh, oh, was it the uh, fucking... I got it! Mukuro was hit in the back of the head with something. And that something was the titanium arrow we found in the locker in the dojo. An arrow? That's what the culprit attacked Mukuro with? Indeed. There's no doubt about it. Are you sure? That sounds kind of weird. Hey! How dare you backtalk, Master! You have no right! I'm not backtalking anything. I'm just saying what I think. I don't blame you for doubting it, because if you want to think about the weapon, it's going to be serious. The Titanium Arrow. It was in the dojo locker, right? I have no doubt that was the murder weapon. Are you sure? You don't sound convinced. What's the problem? Well, because in the Monokuma file, it said the weapon must have been about as thick as a metal pipe, right? It seems like an arrow would just be too thin. Talking back to Master! You have no right! Oh, shit, have a titanium arrow. The titanium, it was in the dojo. I have no doubt. Are you sure? You don't sound convinced. Well, it said the weapon must- It seems like an arrow <laughs> would just be too thin. Talking back to Master! <laughs> you have no right! Shut up. The titanium, it was in the dojo. I have no doubt. Are you sure? You don't sound too- Well, it said the weapon must have been about- It seems like an arrow would just be too thin. Huh? Oh, we need the duct tape. Oh, the duct tape, maybe? The titanium arrow. It was in the dojo. I have no doubt. Are you sure? You don't sound too- But, hey, it said the weapon must have been- It seems like an arrow would just be- There. No, that's wrong! You're right. Just the one arrow would have been too weak. That's why the killer used another weapon. Another weapon? Inside the dojo locker, we also found a balled up wad of duct tape. The killer probably uses duct tape to bind multiple. Bundling them together using the duct tape would easily create a single weapon as thick as a pipe. And that's exactly what the killer did. It's similar to Aesop's fable about the bundle of sticks. One stick is weak, but put them together and they become strong. It's meant to teach cooperation. Damn, that's harsh. How is it harsh? Are you even listening? Anyway, that explains the murder weapon. As for who the culprit is that stashed the weapon in the dojo locker, it was you, Kyoko. I've never been to the dojo. Oh no, you absolutely have. How can you say that with such confidence? Because we have proof, of course. Well, I mean, Don't we, Makoto? Also, I talked to you uh, in there. Oh, um... Hmm? Surely you don't intend to protect a murderer. You know what will happen if you do, don't you? If you cover for the culprit, there's only one thing that can lead to. The death of us all, remember? Uh, of course. Then show us. Show every... I got it! The one thing that proves Kyoko was in the dojo is right here the key to the dojo locker and how does that prove anything because i found it in your room it was in my room i know but that doesn't make sense don't bother trying to, trying to play room. dumb that key is just the final piece of the puzzle your non-existent alibi your clear motive your wait, attempts wait, 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 to frame wait, 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 the makoto for the, the crime i slammed my table i am sorry that was so loud this all proves that you are the true hold on a second not this again you really are dead set on defending her, aren't you? No, it's not that I want to defend her. It's just there's one more thing I need to ask her. Kyoko, I want you to tell me something. Last night, you were in my room, weren't you? Why? 
What were you doing there? That's what I need to know. I was just protecting you. What? What? Nani? Just protect me. The fuck? Oh, what the fuck? What? What? Does that mean she? She knew I was being attacked. She came to my rescue. Could that be when? Which mean that Kyoko? She killed someone. Tonight. That's enough. The time for idle chatter is over. A verdict is close at hand. Wait, I'm warning you. Don't make this mistake. I'm not the killer. I knew you were stubborn, but this is just getting ridiculous. Really? But you should know better than anyone I didn't do it. Can you tell me I'm wrong? I should know. What? She know better than me. She doesn't have her keys. Those words you just spoke. What do you mean? Exactly what I said. I'm not the killer. You should understand that more than anyone here. Miyakuya, what are you hiding? Master would never hide something from me. Shut up. There's proof that you aren't the culprit. Is that what you're saying? You stated a theory. You said I hid the evidence of my crime in the dojo and then left the locker key in my own room. But could I really have done that? I'm the okay. Maybe that. Those words you just oh, exactly. I'm possibly. not. But you should understand. The Master would need. There's proof that you. Is that what you're? You stated a. You said I hid and then left the locker key in my own room. Correct. Shoot. Um, Those words you just exactly. I'm not, but you should understand. Yakuya. Master would need. Yep. There's proof that you aren't the culprit. Uh, Shoot. Uh, Those uh, words you just okay. exactly. I'm not the killer. You should understand that more. Yakuya. Master would need. Yep. There's proof that you aren't the culprit. Is that what you're? You stated. A, you said I hid the, and then left the locker key in my own room. Correct, but. Could I really have done that? I can't just say, hey, give those me words keys. you just said. Exactly. I'm not, but you should understand. Yakuya. Master would never. There's proof that you aren't the culprit. There we go. No, that's wrong. If I'm right, Kyoko wouldn't have been able to get into her room. Huh? Because she had given her room key to Byakuya. I see. So that's what you meant. And if I had the key to your room... Then obviously, I had no way of getting in. Without my room key, I couldn't have possibly put the locker key in there myself. Am I wrong? It would appear not. Then you're finally starting to understand. Well, that's not actually true, there was... But this is... This isn't just like her trying to save herself. It's just my... Because she's the killer, or is it something else? This is a trap. Mastermind has laid for us. Mastermind's trapped. The mastermind's trying to trap Kyoko. But what should I do? What should I do? What should I? What should I? Mastermind's trap. Victor of Makoro and Kyoko killed her. What does Kyoko really know? What am I supposed to do? Kyoko's a lie. The one who knows that it's a lie. The one who can expose it. But who can I trust? What am I supposed to do? The mastermind's trap. If you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you will never move forward. We all know the danger of the risk of meaning. Solve the mystery, we have no choice. Am I wrong? What do I do? Let it go. I made my decision. I have to believe in Kyoko. There's no way she would kill someone. She has to be secret here or something like that. See, I believe Kyoko. Well, does no one have a rebuttal? Have you decided to accept her assertion as fact? I see. So you still refuse to accept it. I suppose we have to admit that Kyoko didn't put the locker key in her room. That it was someone else. But who else could it have been? I mean, Byakuya had a room key, right? Y you! What are you trying to imply? But of course, I have an alibi. 
From nighttime on, I was with you guys the entire time. I couldn't possibly have killed anyone or put the key in Kyoko's room. Well, someone had to put the key in there. There's only one other possibility I can think of. Someone could have had the key on them, then once they arrived at the scene, pretended to find it there. What? It, it had to be Makoto. I don't see any other option. Oh, wait a second. You've got it all wrong. Let's think about I'm it one more time. Killed. There's got to be a hidden side to this well, case. Hey, if it's wrong, uh, huh? I'll jump a back in. Uh, I already do it. <laughs> First of all, there's something off about this entire trial. Mukuro, who we didn't even know existed, suddenly shows up dead. And then we're thrown into a trial. And Kyoko even said it's a trap the mastermind set for us. So that's why. Okay, time's up. Boy. Huh? Time's up. Class trial's all over. Everyone can stop talking now. What? Time's up? What do you mean, time's up? There's no time's up. It's because you were late. So we had to push back the start time. So then, it's time for voting time, okay? At voting time. Oh, no. I am dead. I think I fucked up. Oh, I fucked up. Mm, I fucked up. Now, who will be chosen as the blackened? Hey, hold on! What's it gonna be? What? Uh, oh, fuck, I fucked up. Well then. Yeah. What? You think I'm the killer? Uh, sorry, man. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's all your fault. <laughs> Everyone, you're wrong. I got it all wrong. I didn't do yes, it. Yes, indeed. Good job, Good job? Yep. Yep, they got it right. No, I I know that's not true. None of this is making any sense. The whole trial doesn't make any sense. Hey! This makes perfect sense. Shing! It's the same as always. Stay away, flash draws, and we end it the same way. Drills! Chills! 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 Chihiro? Chihiro? The fuck? Wah What's this? What's going on? Um... Hey, what's that? Uh, um... Yeah, it has to be. This Alter is ego. Alter ego? 
get some stupid fires from that stupid guy. Yeah. Looks like he did it when he invaded my network. Damn it all to hell, I don't believe this. It would seem... So he made a miscalculation. Hm. No, he miscalculated from the very end. What the heck? Was that In it? other words... What I was saying is, you shouldn't have underestimated us. Hmm. You talk about your... You talk about your already one. We fought a thing with a pinch and an inch. An itch. The stupid fires is gone now, got it? And so did Makoto. Maybe I don't get to smash him flat, but you'll never gonna see him again. Yeah it's to waste away in a garbage strewn pit is a way better than special punishment. <laughs> so not enough. I'm so not satisfied. I'm still gonna bring despair to the rest of you. Bring despair to the entire world. <laughs> <laughs> Um, gone? What's the meaning of this? Just what the hell is going on? Calm down. It's okay. We're not the ones being trapped this time. Huh? In other words. No, this mastermind set. Now that's the mastermind's act of What? What did you say? So. You understand soon enough. Very soon indeed. A massive high school tower towards all over the. Uh, eh, it's not school strands, I think. And center of the entire world. Hope Peaks Academy brings the top students of every field imaginable together in one school of privilege. So that is when you come here, you manage to graduate and you're set for life. With hundreds of years of tradition, sends the cream of the crop to the top of the workforce every year. It's good to rise hope in the nation's future, which makes Hope's Peak a pretty fitting name. There are two things you need to attend the school. One, you have to have Already at be attending high school, so you have to be the very best at what you do. If you're already a student that could enroll here, no way in you scout by the school itself. And saying then the gate of the ultimate field with the ultimate student is me. Mm -hmm. What? Where am I? I woke up with my head resting on top of wood and dusk. My body felt heavy. It wouldn't be weird for me to get someone caught in the middle of some boring class or whatever, but what was I doing to sleep here just now? It's the only class I've ever been in before. What the heck is going on? <clears throat> finally. I could finally feel my mind and body start to come back together again, and I was awake. Or was it another dream? A dream inside of a hopeless nightmare. No. This isn't a dream. I could tell because the stench invading my nostrils was too powerful for a dream. What an awful smell. It was in a vast, dark cavern with a uh, barest hint of light sleeped in. The trash was piled high across the area. Some kind of underground garbage pit. A heck of a situation to find myself in. Just because of this was the beginning of my problems. To be stuck in until I wasted away and died. No, I can't let that happen. After what my good friend went through to save me. I remember all too well what happened. Alter Eagle saved me, and he used the last bit of his strength to do so. So I can't give up now for myself and my for my friend. With that, I pursued my the uh, I pursued uh, up and survival again. First one's starting with four way out. You know what? I actually think we'll continue this part in the next episode. I don't know how long this chapter has, and it could be ending soon, but I'll just continue on chapter six or whatever uh yeah all right thank you all so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it, hit the like and subscribe button down below it means a whole hell of a lot and means you enjoy my shitty ass content other than that yeah i'll have my description down in the description below if you so want to check those out and i hope i see you all in the next video this is pc signing out Bye bye